Hello everyone, I'm Miranda. I'm Anson. Today, we're happy to introduce to you the CUHK score calculator. That's cool. When I applied it to CUHK before, I was actually interested in few programs. However, after doing some research, I found that each program has its own subject rating and scoring formula. Sometimes, I wasn't sure if my calculation is correct, even though I knew the scoring formula of a particular program. We believe many Jupyter applicants also share the same concern. That's why we launched the CUHK Score Calculator to help you calculate your admission scores in an easy and accurate way. Anson, can you help me to show how the Score Calculator works? Sure. Let's visit the page on the CUHK Admissions website. Here, we only need three steps to get your admission score calculated. First, in the program column, enter your desired program or input the Jupyter Cook of the program. Let's take professional accountancy as an example. Enter professional accountancy in this field. The admissions requirements, elective subject requirements, scoring formula, and subject weightings of accountancy will be clearly shown. After selecting your desired program, Input your DSC exam scores of each subject. Let me make it clear. This is not my actual scores. I'm just doing the demonstration. Once you've entered your scores, click Calculate. The score calculator will calculate your score based on the admissions formula of your chosen program. It's so convenient. So if students are interested in different COHK programs, they can use this score calculator to calculate their scores one by one. Yes! This year, liberal studies has been replaced by citizenship and social development. We understand that students might not find the admission scores of past years very helpful. That's why we've analyzed the admission scores and number of applicants for each program of past years to estimate an expected score for 2024 entry. If your score from the score calculator achieves the expected score, it means that you're considered to be competitive for the program concerned in Band A. So, does it mean that I will be admitted if I achieve the expected score? Again, it means that you are highly competitive. You should note that CUHK follows the principle of selecting the best applicants during the admission process. Besides the SE scores, we take various factors into account such as interview performance and extracurricular activities in OEA. So, if I can't reach the expected score, does it mean that I have no chance of being admitted? That's not true. After all, the number of applicants and their DSE scores vary each year. We can only finalize the minimum score of this year until the entire admission process is complete. So, if your Calculate score is slightly below the expected score, but you are genuinely interested in the program, you can still give it a try. However, each applicant only has three precious choices in their Jupyter Band A. You are not recommended to take risks with all your free choices. I suggest you to choose a program that you are interested in and relatively confident about getting admitted in Band A. Got it. With this score calculator, you can get accurate calculated scores when the DSE results are released this year. Hope you will find this video helpful. Don't worry about the results, as we, the CUHK Student Ambassadors, are here for you. I wish everyone can get admit into your desired program. Hope to see you later at CUHK. Bye-bye.